So I uh, got my mission call um, a few a month prior to leaving on my mission. Um, I was called to the Benin Cotonou mission, um, and at first I had no idea where that was. You know, I uh, I knew it was in Africa, but I didn't really know where. Um, I was having a lot of thoughts, thinking like, you know, why am I getting called outside of the country? You know, wouldn't it just be simpler? if I just got called somewhere in the States, um, I'm gonna be speaking a new language. Um, and there were just a lot of things going through my head. And I had to come to terms with the fact that the Lord is at the head of it all. Um, and, and once I was able to take that step, um, the next steps were, uh, I won't say easier, but the next steps felt a little bit more, um, uh, I felt less scared to take them. Um, and so I, I, I had the help of, of members in my ward. I had some support from my family. Um, and, and, you know, overall, I, I just felt like, you know, this is the right thing to do. Um, and so I, I went. Uh, I went to Ghana, the Ghana MTC. I <clears throat> had some experiences there, uh, met different missionaries from different walks of life. Um, they, they taught me things that I uh, will never forget. You know, I, I learned how to uh, interact with others um, in, in the gospel. I learned to um, really care for someone else and their well-being, um, to pray, to learn to pray for someone else. That was uh, something I learned a lot about. Um, and then I get into the field in 2019. I, I'm, I'm loving it. You know, I, the, the African people, they are, they are wonderful. They are definitely ready to receive the gospel. They were very receptive they were ready and willing to to make and keep commitments um, and to make covenants with the Lord and to come unto him um, and, I, and I truly enjoyed watching that that level of conversion among them um, I I personally uh, in got to see one person be baptized not just be baptized but also go to the temple and prepare for a mission um, and, and honestly it was one of the most successful uh, moments for me personally in in my mission um, and then about a year and a couple months in to the mission uh, we get a call that we're that we need to pack up and and get ready to go home um, because of the global pan pandemic of COVID-19 um, and it was very at, at this point I had been very settled into my mission I was I was loving it I was his own leader I I really enjoyed working with the other missionaries. I was enjoying my companion, the people we were teaching. And it was very disorienting for me, not so much that I was leaving my mission, but what I was going back to. Um, coming back to the United States, all of a sudden, I, everybody's wearing masks. You can't embrace people. You can't shake hands. You can't do all the things that were normal just a few days prior. Um, and, and I'm... I'm just very disoriented. I don't know what's going on. I'm, um, I, I was released as a missionary. I was at home. Uh, I, I couldn't go anywhere because of quarantine, and then I couldn't go anywhere because I had no form of personal transportation. So I was stuck at home for a lot of the time, and I just felt lost. I, I felt like I had nothing to do, and and that was a moment of very. Um, that was a very disappointing, depressing moment of my life where I just did not feel good about myself. I didn't feel good about anything. I, I did my best to, to, to read my scriptures daily, to pray, to um, just figure out what I needed to be doing, but I just felt stuck. And then I get my call for reassignment um, and I'm, I'm given an option. I can either go on my mission or return to my reassignment or not return go to my reassignment reassignment immediately or uh, wait a year and on the surface it seems like waiting a year seems good you know I can get my life in order a little bit you know go to school get do some work um, and and then go back out but over time I, I was thinking to myself yeah I'll, I'll take I'll wait a year and then over time I started to realize like it's not really a great idea and then I had other people telling me 
the same thing is, you know, it's not really the, the best idea to do that. Um, because honestly, why would you, why would you want to go back out after a year? You've already settled in, you know, you've got job, you got a job, you're in school, you're doing all these other things. You know, eventually you're just going to tell yourself like, I can't, I, I, I won't have time to do so as such things. Um, and so it, it really took, um, others around me, um, honestly, just pushing me to the, to what I came to understand was the right decision to, to go back out immediately and, and finish serving the Lord as I committed to do, um, before COVID. Um, and I came to understand as I did so that the commitment was the same. Um, it's just the location was different. You know, I was, I was called to serve the Lord. Um, and so where, wherever that may be, the goal is always to serve the Lord. Um, was it difficult? Yes, I did not know, nor was familiar with the, the fashion of work we would be doing, uh, which was almost entirely online. Um, I was not very savvy with how to communicate with people through technology and teach the gospel through technology. The, all these things were very, very new to me. And there were points where I was very frustrated. I was um, annoyed with the way things were going. Again, because I was still very disoriented from this rapid change uh, of life. Um, but it was reminding myself that my commitment had not changed. Um, serving the Lord um, in an entirely new area and um, serving the Lord through technology, um, teaching people through technology, that was all the same commitment I had made. It's just we're doing it in a different way. And I know that the Lord hears our prayers when we're sincere, when we truly seek his help. Uh, he hears us and he, he comforts us. He, he looks out for us. And he will lift us up and, and lead us along um, as long as we are willing to keep our commitment to serve him um, and keep our eyes single to his glory. And when I came to understand that, that's when I really started to feel um, confident in, in what I was doing, confident in my decision I made. Um, so I, I really enjoyed my mission. And I, I see the blessings of it now, um, or at least some of the blessings. I don't, I don't think I've seen all of them yet, but I've seen some of the blessings so far. I've, I feel myself um, a lot more comfortable with uh, sharing what I feel. Um, I feel a lot closer to the people I've uh, met, and um, I feel closer with the people, um, or I feel like I can be closer with the people I will meet. You know, I, I feel like I can establish a lot more meaningful relationships because I have this purpose, this um, this, these experiences I've had, they, they help me see what's really important. Um, and so I, I can't wait to, you know, be who the Lord wants me to be. And I share these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.